Yo guys, tonight we're going to be opening up two mega boxes of 2020 Bowman, and they're both going to be coming to you from Hot Ice Cards on Twitter. Make sure to go follow them right now. Three, yeah, yeah, yeah. two, one. All right, guys, earlier today on Twitter, I tweeted out that I was going to make a personal video or a sponsored video for somebody on YouTube for our channel, and it was actually a really good deal, and Hot Ice Cards, a.k.a. Kyle and Frank, they're both brothers, they jumped on it. Awesome deal. So I am going to be doing more of these in the future, so if you guys are interested, it's going to be always first come, first serve, so... Make sure to go follow us on Twitter and um, turn on notifications so that just in case I do post these sponsored videos for really, really great deals, that you can jump on it first and get a really good deal and some hopefully some awesome cards. I'm super excited for this. I have not personally ripped any Bowman, but I have had a personal done for me uh, from Travis from Joker's cards. So I do appreciate that. I didn't get anything great. But regardless, so, I mean, this is more of a review video, and I do know that there are, um, I believe, four packs, and then two exclusive mojo packs, so really all you're really get looking for in these are the mojo packs, so if you get a Dominguez in one of these mojo, that's like an $80 card, which is crazy to me, I don't, I don't know. So I did. I was watching Phil's polls earlier today. Rip two. Rip no. He ripped uh, like ten of them, and all he opened was the the Mojo packs. And he pulled a Jason Dominguez green autograph out of ninety nine, which I believe sells for for just above uh, fifteen hundred dollars, which is crazy. Yeah, and these base packs, I don't think have any hits in them so I'm going to start with those and then save these two for after when I open these so yeah I'm excited so I asked um, Kyle and Frank if they wanted me to shout anything out and Kyle told me that he wanted he wanted for me to let everybody know that he is a big Ken Griffey Jr. super collector and if you have any nice Ken Griffey... Wow, is this an auto? Wait, why are they backwards? Interesting. Yeah, so if you have any nice uh, Ken Griffey cards, make sure to hit them up on Twitter. Definitely follow them on Twitter, for sure. Um, they, they, they do sales over there, and they retweet a lot of people, so they're a good part of the community, for sure. But yeah, so Kyle collects... Um, Ken Griffey Jr. cards, and he also needs one more card to finish a rainbow, and it is a Hudson Head out of five first Bowman red card. So if you or anybody you know has a Hudson Head first Bowman out of five, make sure to hit him up on Twitter and get that card over to him, because I'm sure he's willing to, definitely willing to make a deal with you. Mason Denenberg. Evan White. Are there even rookies in these? I'm not sure. That's a nice first, actually. Kyle and Frank, I will be sleeving the decent ones up after, so don't worry about that. Sam Huff is decent, I would say. All right, nothing too good yet, but that's all right. All right, so yeah, so Frank is a big collector of the Indians. And he also collects a lot of Hall of Fame autographs. So if you have any of those, once again, just hit them up on Twitter. I'm sure they would be willing to make a deal with you guys. All right, nothing too, too, uh, too big yet. So one thing that I wanted to talk about in this video was how um, wax prices especially on Bowman, are decreasing significantly. I believe there are a couple of reasons for that. One, because people have definitely... Where are all the first? They've definitely gotten 
their fix of uh, Bowman, that's for sure. Um, another reason is, is because these came out, so they've kind of moved on from like just the normal, typical Bowman blasters. So to put it into perspective, when the Hobby Boxes first came out, they were around um, 300 or over just over 300 or maybe just, I don't know, around 300. And now they're basically 250. You can get them for 250, I believe. That number could be wrong. I, it might be 270, but I believe it is 250. So yeah, they, those have definitely decreased quite a bit. And like, come on, man. There's your two uh, mojo packs. And then four base packs, which apparently don't have anything in them. <laughs> yeah, so... And another reason that I think is pushing the market down for especially Bowman is because... Tops just announced that they're going to be releasing uh, Bowman Sapphire this year all on their website. I don't know what the price is going to be, but it's going to be on their website. And I'm going to assume that it's going to be like the Bowman First Edition release where you literally can't get them unless, in the words of JB, you're a bot. The only way you're getting them is if you're literally a bot. <laughs> Which kind of sucks, but I don't know. I mean, I'm definitely not going to be able to get one. I'm going to try. Don't get me wrong. I'm definitely going to try as hard, if not harder, than I did for the Bowman First Edition, which, by the way, I did not get any of, which sucks. But I did try, and... Oh, Bobby Witt! That's a nice out of a base pack. It's actually really nice. Definitely centered too. This corner looks a little weird, but oh well. Nice card. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna be trying to get these Bowman Sapphire packs or boxes. But yeah, I definitely think that that is a catalyst to uh, Bowman, the 2020 Bowman um, dropping in price. And another reason why I think baseball card prices are dropping in general is because people are definitely afraid that there's going to be no season which is hard for me to believe I truly believe that they will work something out but like every day it's just something happens just today they the players association declined a 60 game season I don't really have much to say on that. Like, I've clearly never been a Major League Baseball player, and I don't know what goes into the whole thing and how the contracts work or whatever, but, I mean, they are making... Ooh, nice Robert. They are making a ton of money. But, as I said, I don't know what goes into it, so I feel like in my gut they should just accept it and do it for the people at this point. But... I don't know, it's hard to say. So, at the end of the day, for from a sports card um, perspective, or sports card collecting perspective, I would just suggest being very careful with sport or with, um, with baseball cards specifically, because if it's announced that there's not going to be a baseball season in 2020, we could see baseball card prices take quite a drop or tumble or honestly it's going to be a roller coaster <laughs> it's the only good way to put it so yeah just be careful i'm not in a rush to sell my baseball cards but also like i might be selling my baseball cards look at these i'm excited for this this is this is the moment we've all been waiting for this is why you're here at this video and i'm going to treat it as such good luck to Kyle and Frank from Hot Ice Cards. Make sure to go follow them on Twitter right now, Hot Ice Cards. <sighs> Thank you for sponsoring. I appreciate both of you. Here we go. Zach Brown. Debbie Garcia. Ooh, Jordan. Nice. That's not bad at all. Uh, rookie of the Year favorites. Here's a first. 
Oh, baby! Let's go! I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Let's go, Kyle and Frank. Guys, please subscribe to our channel for that one. That is insane. That is insane. And it's center. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Hold on just a second. I'm going to... I'm gonna cut the video. I'm not gonna move anything, but I gotta get something. In my opinion, this guy deserves a one touch. <laughs> wow, I never, literally the first pack the first pack. The first pack. The first pack. Wow. Congratulations, Kyle and Frank. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> wow. Let's go, dude. Amazing. All right. <laughs> all right all right let's see if we can get do something better than that please that would be insane wander franco Luis garcia isaac paredes jordan adamas all right no first what a horrible mojo pack i guess what can you expect at this point that was amazing oh my gosh the first pack i cannot believe that I cannot believe that. All right, Brady Singer, Bryce Terang, Sean Murphy, rookie of the year, uh, rookie of the favorites, rookie of the year favorites. Another non-first pack. Okay, last pack. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Gotta be there. We need we need a colored or a number. I mean, oh, we got a number, 99. I meant colored or auto. So, oh, I thought that was Bobby Witt, but clearly not because there's no first. All right, Grant Levine, Austin Beck, and your green, the last card of the two boxes, which were amazing, to be honest with you. Let's see if it's a first. It's not a first. Ronnie Mar Mauricio out of 99. 22 of 99. Well, make sure to like this video, subscribe, please subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter so you can get into, so you can be the first one to get into these uh, personal breaks. I still can't believe it. Congratulations. Make sure to go follow uh, Kyle and Frank on Twitter. Do it right now. Why not, you know? But until we... Pull more Jason Dominguez for your eyes. We'll see you then.